guys, welcome to Cooking Simplify. This is my third video. Thank you so so much for your constant support. But please do know I still need more subscriber. So please, while you're watching this video, please do subscribe. Right. So uh, this is the month of Ramadan. Uh, I want to wish you all a very happy Ramadan, and I hope you have a very blessed month ahead of us. Um, so uh, in, in in the honor of this month. I thought I'll come up with a few recipes and uh, maybe show you guys some few, a few recipes for a really quick and refreshing um, and, uh, food that could keep you going. So I thought we'd start with something very simple and very quick. Fruit chart is my mom's classic recipe. Um, Mama, I think that's if you want to follow me. I've got my ingredients right here. Uh, you can you can use any uh, fruits you want, but these are some of my favorites, so that's why I prefer to use these every time I make it. Uh, but uh, it's really up to you if you want to, you know, swap one for another. That's totally your that's totally your choice. So the uh, fruits I normally always use are these. So I put them right here. We have some strawberries, we have some apples, some bananas, and uh, a pomegranate. I love pomegranate, but you don't need the whole of it. So a half of a big pomegranate will do. And then we have, oh, the most important thing for this recipe is juice. You need, you must always, always try to go for mango. Uh, some people go for fruit cocktail, but I don't think that blends in very well. A mango gives a very really nice sweet flavor, so make sure you always go for mango. I prefer to go for Rubicon here, uh, but I think you can go for any brand that you want, uh, whichever is your favorite really. And then, the last and but not least, we've got some chaat masala. It's right here. Uh, I did some research for you guys, so those of you who do not know what is chaat masala, you can get it uh, uh, in my description, I'll put in the link, you can get it from Amazon, uh, you can also get it in your local tes Tesco, a lot of, a lot, most of Tesco stores, they store uh, Asian spices, uh, so it is called chaat masala, let's get started. First of all, I've got my pomegranate right here, You only, as I mentioned, you only need half a pomegranate, and in this, I'll put in some juice, some mango juice, so uh, it, it, uh, the quantity of, of juice again depends on you. I like it really fruity. So what I'll do is put in at least half a half the pack. So we, this is about one liter. So I think half a liter would do. Yeah. So I'll put that in. You could always use a whole liter. It really doesn't matter. And then I've got some strawberries. I'll get my strawberries going in there. It's a really simple and really refreshing recipe. Trust me, give it a try. I've got some pineapple. Then I've got some apples. As you can see, I've sliced them really finely. You don't want them too chunky, but at the same time, you don't want them too finely. Just make sure they are finely chopped. And then I've got some bananas. Now the thing about fruit chart is I prefer to use soft fruits, more soft fruits than um, the uh, hard ones. But that again is really your choice. Um, I would also suggest that during the month of summer, you uh, put in some uh, mangoes. You get some fresh mangoes, chop them up, put them in. Oh, it gives a really, really nice and sweet flavor. And now we've got our chaat masala. Now the amount of chaat masala you want to put in really depends on you. I don't like it too spicy, so I just like the hint of flavor coming through. I think for this amount I'll do uh, half a teaspoon. So I've got half a teaspoon of chaat masala. Uh, some people like it really spicy, they do a, a whole teaspoon, but I think that's too much. For me, that's too much. Uh, so we put half a teaspoon of chaat masala in there. There you go. And then I'll just give it a good stir. I've got my here. So just give it a good stir. Just get the let the flavors blending together. Oh, it smells, it smells very good. I love this food in Ramadan. And while I normally make this for iftari, what I do is we always have leftovers, so you can always have the leftovers for seri. It keeps you going for the whole day. Trust me, it's a really good thing to have for seri. So you can always have that, in, you know, waking up in the middle of the night. You don't want to have something too hot or something too heavy. This is perfect. Okay, so that's our food chart done. I think I'll just give it a quick taste. Just to see, you know, uh, the, uh, if you just want to do a quick taste for the flavoring. Uh, if, you, if you think you need more chaat masala, put it in. If you think that's perfect, it's fine. You don't need to put it in. 
So I just give it a quick taste. Hmm. I think that is perfect for me. I don't want to put any more spice in, but I think I don't like too much spice. But you could put in a bit more if you want more of that flavor. So that's done. Now I would always suggest to make this couple of hours before you're breaking your fast, just to let it get chill, really chill. Otherwise you won't really enjoy it as much. So I'll put this, uh, just cover it with cling film and put it in the flex. That was my recipe for fruit chat. I hope you really like it. Please do try it. And if you do like it, please subscribe. If you do not like it, still, please subscribe. And uh, of course, if you have any comments uh, to make, please do comment, but make sure you comment in the YouTube box, okay?